If you were a kid in the 1970s, a little kid, you either had Mattel Electronics football or one of your friends did and you wanted it. It was an incredibly popular handheld video game and these were in the days when there were no other handheld electronic games at all. Uh, Mattel Electronics football and all uh, electronic games of those times were incredibly simple affairs. They really were. Um, mostly just, you know, one color, very small matrices of LEDs, and you had to do a lot of imagination. I was not a sports fan in those days, and I'm still not incredibly a football fan, so I really didn't care for Mattel Electronics football. I always felt like there was something about it that I didn't understand, but the truth is it just wasn't that detailed of a game, and it didn't really have a whole lot to do with football either. When it came to electronic games, I wanted something different. What I asked for and what I got from my parents, who were really kind of generous to me at that time, was Mattel Electronics Subchase, which I really enjoyed on a lot of levels because it was a very decent, very playable game, and also because I loved and still love the industrial design of the game itself, which is far, far and away better than Mattel Electronics Football, which was far more popular. The idea of Subchase is pretty simple. You are a boat and you are searching for submarines and you can tell where they are by the beeps getting faster and faster. When you think that you're above one, you push the fire button and it either hits or it doesn't. The more times you push the fire button, the lower the point value goes. And as you go on, there's also torpedoes that come at you. You can see them, so you have to avoid them. And if you don't avoid them, the game is over. Also, if you get, I think, 10 subs, the game is also over. And that's, that's kind of it. This is a simple game that's endlessly replayable. Then yes, it makes a lot of noise and there's not even a volume control on it, so that, that's a negative. But you can pick this up and play it for two minutes and have a great time and put it back down. I was also, even as a kid, I was a fan of the design of this thing because I thought it kind of looked like so, sort of a science fiction-y, uh, tricorder-y kind of thing, which I'm a big Star Trek fan even then. Um, but unlike Mattel Electronics Football, which has a lot of oddly named buttons that you have to kind of understand, the design here is simple. You have an on-off button on the front, you have one of the earliest uses of a D-pad that you're going to find, and you have a fire button on the side. That's literally it. And you have a big, what looks like a round screen, the matrix in it is actually rectangular, um, but what looks like a round screen, and you have, you know, nice design, nice look, you got a nice kind of blue and orange kind of design to it. It's, it honestly is a better looking toy than practically anything else of that day, and I thought so then, and I especially think so now. Uh, the same design was used for a couple of other Mattel Electronics games, which I did not have at the time. I wish I'd kind of kept Subchase because it's, you know, first of all, it's a blast to play, and second of all, it's just as a game, it's just beautiful to look at in a 1970s kind of context. And luckily, I don't have to go on eBay and pay way too much for a beat up version from the 1970s that may or may not still work and I might have to refinish or, or fix in some way. I'm a big fan of retro games and you can find a lot more about retro games on my channel, youtube.com slash middleagedhack. And if you are using Batasera Linux or even pretty much I think any version of RetroArch, you can download handheld simulations, not just arcade and, and video game simula simulations. And somebody went to the trouble of creating a very faithful version of Subchase. You're going to have to go looking for it. I, I don't want to get in trouble by telling you kind of how to find this stuff because the legality of it is still somewhat questionable. Um, but I will tell you that I did find it on this kind of skeevy Italian site. This is a surprisingly faithful version of Subchase. Uh, you use the arrow keys on your keyboard and the, and the enter keys and, you know, and honestly, and that's it because there's so little control. Uh, the sound effects seem to be pulled directly from the game itself and they are just as annoying as they ever were, although you can turn the volume down now. And it, it's, it's still a ton of fun. It really is. If you've never checked out Subchase uh, before, check it out. Look for the ROM if you're doing retro gaming. 
Um, and if not, um, if you ever had the game, if you miss it, well, let's talk about it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I always say that because I'm trying to build this channel up and I hope that you do it. You know, my research says about 98% of the people who watch my videos do not subscribe. And I get it, I'm not a big subscriber myself, but I'm asking you for a favor. Uh, do it because, you know, Google really wants you to do it. And I really want to please Google. That's it for me for today. I will see you next time. And until then, happy sub chasing.